So we've got a Wreckfest profile changer. This is for people who want to play the base game when they have mods installed and don't want to buy the new cars again, set them all back up again. So it's on the workshop, Wreckfest profile changer, just give it a search and then hit subscribe. Once that's downloaded, Go to the workshop content bugbears folder the the last one there and then it's in tools extract it we've got a readme here a read go into that and we right click send to desktop once we've done that we can minimize everything we've got that and we've got Wreckfest so we start it off first we need to do the settings choose your steam directory now normally this would be um, project uh, program files and then steam where I've got mine on another drive, so mine's just games. Then you need to choose your profile. Now it auto finds your user data folder. As you can see, it's highlighted. You just open it, select your profile, then hit save. It's going to tell you you need to restart the application. Once we've done that, we can now use our setup function. So we're going to make a backup of our profile first it's done and then we create a new profile you need to work out which one you are in at the minute so if we launch the game we're on but no mods installed so we're on a no mods base game so exit so set up All right create a new profile mods click yes base game click no so is your current profile base game or mods oh, mine's a base game so click no let's tell me now that it's been set up for the base game and we need to make one for the mods so again we just go back into game Miscellaneous mod, we activate all the bangers. Let the game restart, so it activates the mods. <laughs> right, so we've got them, so let's go garage, market, and let's buy a banger. Buy a Volvo. So we've got the Volvo in here. We've got the mods enabled. Throw uh, a paint on it. But pre race, there you go. So we save that. So we're in the pre race. We know what we've just done. So we exit the game. And now we'll create a new profile again. But this one we know has got mods on it. We click yes okay and then we click save now it's going to move everything around a little bit and it's going to default back to the base profile it does it if you do mods first or base game first it doesn't matter it will go to this one so if i click launch game we've got no mods installed at all Uh, now go on to exit game as you can see if we want to use the mods game profile don't you there's a, a pop-up there that says would you like to launch game now which you click yes it'll relaunch the game if you click no it'll just leave you there and as you see now we go to garage the mods that we had enabled before we've done the switch is back enabled again 
we've got all the tracks there everything is done and all you have to do now you can close that you can launch your game so you know you've got your mods profile on there and it'll look at it every time mod profile um, move over to the base game yeah, would you like to start the game now no but we know the base game's there now you can restore the system for when before you had the application if you want to delete the application you can restore what you had previously so before you started using the application it put it back so if it was a mods um, profile you had the bangers or whatever it will restore that back into default and you'll, that's the only profile you'll have no others so there is that button there i'm not going to use it because i've just set mine up now that's it thank you very much